In this video, I will be going over questions involving practical applications of exponential equations. Over here we have a question stating that the temperature T in degrees centigrade of a cup of chai T minutes after it is made is given by the equation T is equal to 75 times E to the power of negative 0.02 times T whole plus 20. And there are three parts to this. We first have to find the initial temperature of the chai we have to find the temperature of the chai after six minutes, and we have to find the temperature of the chai when, or the time when the temperature of the chai is 65 degrees centigrade. Units are pretty important. So let's just go over what this question is saying. Here we're given an equation relating the time that has passed to the temperature of the chai. So we see that e to the power of negative 0. 0 0.02 times t multiplied by 75 plus 20 gives us the temperature of the chai. So let's start with part a which asks us to find the temperature of the chai when it was made. So when the tea was made or right after the right after the chai was made t is equal to 0 because 0 minutes have passed so far. Therefore if we want to calculate the temperature we simply plug 0 into the position of t so, or small t, big T is equal to, so big T is equal to 75 times e to the power of negative 0 0.02 times 0 plus 20. This gives us e to the power of 0, which is equal to 1, which gives us 75 plus 20, which gives us an answer of 95 degrees centigrade. That was pretty simple. Now let's go on to part B. Part B asks us to find the temperature of the chai when t is equal to 6. So when t is equal to 6, once again, all we need to do is plug the small value for time into our equation. And this gives us t or temperature is equal to 75 times e to the power of negative 0 0.02 times 6 plus 20. So let's plug this into our calculator to see what we get. So we have 75 times, let's see, is there E anywhere on this? No, there isn't. So I don't have a calculator that I can show you on my screen right now. So if you plug this in, you will get 68 point or 66.5 plus 20, where this is rounded. And this gives us a final answer of 86.5 degrees Celsius. Now for part C. Part C asks us to find the value of T or the time when the temperature is 65 degrees. So when the temperature is 65 degrees. In this case, T or time is our unknown. So what we do here, once again, is we simply plug the value for T or temperature into our equation. This gives us 65 is equal to 75 times E to the power of negative 0 0.02 times 6 plus 20. Simplifying this is just algebra. So we can subtract 20 from both sides, giving us 45 is equal to 75 times e to the power of negative 0 0.02 times 6. Let's bring the 75 over. So 45 over 75 is equal to e to the power of negative 0 0.02 times 6. And I believe 45 divided by 75 is equal to 0 0.6. We can take out 5 from both places. That gives us 9 and this gives us 10, 15 and this is equal to 0 0.6 because if we take 3 then we get because I mean, if we take 3 from both sides we get 3 over 5 which is 0 0.6 anyway so now what we have is E 
to the power of negative 0 0.02 times, I don't know why I wrote t 6 over there, it should be t. I apologize. This is t, this should be t. This should be t. Sorry about that. Anyway, so we get e to the power of negative 0 0.02 times t is equal to 0 0.6. And if you remember from when we solved exponential equations, one way to solve this is to take a, lo a logarithm or ln of both sides. And we could either take lg or ln, but since we're dealing with e in this equation, we'll, we should take ln. So we take ln of e to the power of negative 0 0.02 times t is equal to 0. Point, or ln, ln of 0 0.6. We can use the power law to bring this down here to our coefficient. So negative 0 0.02 times t times ln of e is equal to ln of 0 0.6. We know that ln of e is equal to ln of e is equal to 1 because e to the 1 is equal to e. And so we get negative 0 0.02 times t is equal to ln of 0 0.6. Move the 0 0.02 over, or negative 0 0.02 actually, so negative 0 0.02. So we get ln of 0 0.6 divided by negative 0 0.02 is equal to the time at which the temperature of our T was equal to 65 degrees centigrade. So from this, if we plug it into a calculator, we get that the time was approximately 25.5 minutes. And we rounded this to the nearest three decimal places. And remember, units is pretty important. You have to specify that it's minutes, not seconds or hours, because if you write the wrong units, or if you don't write your units, then you will get points taken off. So that's about it when it comes to practical applications involving exponents. Most equations will look pretty similar to this. They might they might like require you to do more algebra or apply different or apply different equations that you already know. But essentially it'll usually just have e to the power of some number with a coefficient and we some number over here and it will be equal to another number. <laughs> pretty standard stuff.